Hi everybody! So, I think we should give ourselves a pat on the back, right? Give ourselves a pat on the back because of where we're at right now. Look at the tremendous amount of recipes out there that are available at everybody's fingertips for them to literally make it possible to go vegan, to at least go plant-based. Okay, because when we look at the amount of fruit and produce that's available for us to eat, that's available for our food that's been created for us on this entire planet, it is literally hundreds of thousands. You will never be bored. There is so much to experience and flavor out there in the world of plant foods. But of course, in today's day and age, we don't really have access to all of that. I mean, we do, it's just we can't really get to it. So what we have access to, what majority of people have access to, is what's available at the stores. So what we see at the store is the common apples, oranges, uh, mangoes, pineapples, okay? It's maybe occasionally these other exotic fruits. And then when you go to oriental markets or stores or farmer's markets, or all of these other hole-in-the-wall treasure find stores, you'll find some fruits that aren't ever seen in regular grocery stores that you can actually get. And then we have this wonderful world of the, of the internet where you can order tropical fruit online, but still there's only a small selection available online and it can get expensive. So we're kind of limited to a certain amount of group, certain group of produce. So when we look at today, okay, we see all this availability that we, once you've learned how much is out there, it's like, oh my gosh, there's so much abundance that's been created for you to eat in the world of plants. But of course, we look in today's day and age and we kind of can't have that. We can, you can try and strive, but on a daily basis, we kind of, most of us can't have that we're from where, for where we live, the type of climate that we live in, what's going on in our lives and stuff, and kind of where we're placed in, on, the, on the planet too, where, we've, where we're just kind of at, where God has us. So in order to, for us to change our health, uh, some of us, it's kind of hard to do that. And some people don't like the standard stuff that they see in the store and they think, well, that's all there is. Heck no, I ain't going vegan and stuff like that. So it's like, whoa, 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 hang on now. Don't disregard it right away. We're in this day and age where people share their recipes, plant-based recipes, using the common fruits and vegetables that we always see, making delicious options for you that are plant-based and that are whole foods too included, that are soup, that are very, very healthy for you. They may not be absolutely optimal, but they're healthy and there should be no excuse for anybody. There should be no excuse, I think, for any, be, anybody to not be vegan. Of course, there's always those those small villages and uh, faraway places where all they know is to hunt animals and stuff. That's a whole nother story. But of course, what we should always, I think, be striving for, if you have health, optimal health in mind and you care about yourself deeply, you would get yourself to the climates, to the places where you're truly meant to be, where you can have access to that variety and be in a better state of health. But for a majority of people on this planet, no matter where you're at, even in cold climates, you can still make veganism work. You can still make raw veganism work. So I would say pat yourself on the back, pat this world itself on the back. This is the positive side of this world, that we're in a day and age where people are using their gifts and talents that God has given them to help share, share their gifts and talent of being a, a raw food chef or being a vegan chef and putting together these awesome meal ideas so other people have a chance to be vegan as well from where they're at, utilizing the produce that they have access to, using, utilizing the common spices, herbs, and produce that they have available to them on a daily basis too. So I don't know about you, but I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. And utilize what God has created, the internet and this electronics and everything, what he's allowed to happen at this point in time on his timetable of eternity and everything, that, that you've been planted in a day and age where 
you can experience the internet and actually literally experience and and go vegan and still eat very very well and make it doable for yourself because a lot of people today I've noticed like the chances of them going optimal is kind of slim they haven't they just they have to get there there's of course the people that are gun ho and go straight for it and that's awesome that's wonderful that's perfect really if you can do that but most people still want to cook and prepare like they've been taught their whole life but they just need help doing it a plant-based version but they still want to create something in order to eat when really you don't have to you just pick the fruit from the tree and you eat it it's as simple as that and you have pure optimal health that's the way it should be that's how easy and simple it is but in this day and age we, we're so stuck with our habits so a lot of people still want to create savory meals still want to create these more complex meals and kind of imitate what they have used to eat and that's totally fine but like pat yourself on the back pat this world on the back that we're in the day and age where we can do that because you have access to those recipes at the palm in the palm of your hand I think it's a lovely thing where we're at with this day and age that's the positive side of this world when it comes to the state of, of health and and going vegan that literally there really should be no reason as to why nobody why somebody should not be vegan in today's world. There are so many options available. It's incomprehensible as how many options are available out there for you to make it work for yourself. There's just, just so much available to you. You just gotta do it. Alrighty everybody, so remember to love being raw, vegan, plant-based, whole foods, whatever floats your little boats. Just remember to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, literally. And you know what? I know you can do it, why? Because God tells us we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, right? Yes, he's just waiting for you to take charge. He's waiting for you, not necessarily take charge, but like, you know, step up to the plate and do your part. You know, it's not that hard, but if it is hard for you, don't worry. There's other people to help cheer you on and to help get you to where you need to be. Alrighty, have a wonderful day today, you guys. Put a big smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you, and I will see you next video. Bye guys.